Hi, welcome to Math Movies with Ms. Feuerbeck and Ms. Baluti. Today we will be converting measurements of capacity using metric units. This is the conversion you'll need to know for today's lesson. One liter equals 1,000 milliliters. You might remember from other conversion lessons with the metric system that when we do our multiplying and dividing, we're going to make use of the powers of 10. These are the two rules that you'll need to know for today's lesson. Just like other conversion lessons, these are the same rules. When you're converting a larger unit to a smaller unit, you should multiply. When converting a smaller unit to a larger unit, you should divide. Here's the problem to get started. 4,000 milliliters equals some number of liters. Well, knowing that milliliters is the smaller unit compared to liters, which is the larger unit, that means we're going to need to divide by 1,000, which is the total number of milliliters in a liter. 4,000 divided by 1,000 is 4. Now, I know that in my head, but I could have also thought of it as taking 4,000 and bringing my decimal point to the left three times because I'm dividing by 1,000, which is made up of three groups of 10. For my second problem, I have 28 and 4,100 liters equals a sum number of milliliters. So I'm going from liters to milliliters. Liters is the larger unit of measure or capacity. And so going from liters to milliliters means that we're going to need to multiply by 1,000 because there's 1,000 milliliters in each liter. In order to multiply, I'm going to take 28.41 and I'm going to need to move my decimal place over to the right three times because 1,000 is the same thing as 10 times 10 times 10. Move it to the right once times 10, move it to the right again times 10, and move it to the right again for a third t multiplication of 10 for a total multiplication of 1,000. Now my decimal point ends up here. The only issue is that I need to put a zero here to show the place value and to hold that place. So my final answer is going to be 28,410 milliliters. Here's a story scenario. Five students each want to fill their water bottles with 600 milliliters of water. The jug has four liters of water in all. Is there enough water for all five students to fill their bottles? All right, so what I know here is that if each of my students there's, has 600 milliliters of water that they need, and we're going to do five groups of that, well, I know that's the same thing as 3,000 milliliters of water. That's how much we need. So this is how much is needed. Now, I have to figure out if 4 liters is enough. Now, I can't really compare 4 liters to 3,000 milliliters, so I'm going to need to do some converting. 4 liters equals some number of milliliters. To go from liters to milliliters, I'll need to multiply by 1,000. So 4 times 1,000 is 4,000. And now I know that this is how much water is in the jug, 4,000 milliliters. Well, 4,000 is certainly larger than 3,000. And it makes sense that we have plenty of water for all five students, and there will be 1,000 milliliters left over. So I'm going to say yes. There's plenty of water and there is going to be leftover. I hope you learned a lot about converting capacities in the metric system. Thank you.